I thought I'd do a real quick update here. Uh, we already have a sale on this one here, which is the Montreal Canadiens Bleed Blue and Red till I'm cold and dead. So if I go to my Canadiens page, it's refreshed the fan page. So the one that sold uh, was this one here. <laughs> I'd rather die than wear that shirt. Cool, cool. You want those kind of comments. You want people to really get in there and fight each other, you know. Um, so this is the one. I posted this not too long ago. It's not showing what's the time. But an hour ago. So within an hour, we got our first sale. So I thought I'd just give you a quick update. Let's see how many, how many clicks we actually got on this here. We can find out by going to our stats and looking at our one uh, it's a bleed which one was it again it was the sorry oh it's the bleed one okay so we'll go there Montreal Canadian bleed six clicks <laughs> and one of those has got to be me let me refresh that's a pretty good conversion you know one in a few people that actually been there that's pretty good. Let's go check one more time. Let's do a quick refresh in here and see if any other other sales showing up. Just one there. Oh, we got another one, the Blackhawks. So action is happening. It seems to be a lot better than the other one that we did. Uh, which one was it now? It was the the bleed one seems to be the one that's catching on so let's take a look here bleed two hundred ten people saw it already and I did add this new tip there I, I record a separate video it's probably gonna be in a separate section in the members area but I did add this on here um, a comment I did it on every single page and the comment is tip buy with your friends slash co-workers to save lots of money on shipping get them here I saw this tip in a it was a teespring group somewhere and some woman was doing that sorry I think it was a woman I'm not sure I, I just briefly saw the comment and thought, oh man I want to try that so I went and did that I've actually done it before but differently I would say um, buy two to save on shipping like buy two or three but this is better, you know, buy with your friends or coworkers. That's pretty cool. So we'll see how this pans out. Why not do one more refresh just to see. So just the one there, one, two. So anyhow, two is better than none, right? All right, it's the next morning after we listed those shirts. It's been about 14, 15 hours since we listed them. and. I do want to um, talk about this example again. Of course, remember I, I did all these shirts as just an example for some training. And um, I remember I talked about one of the shirts here, the the one that might be in violation. Remember I talked about with the feathers? And this one is probably going to be in violation too because I used the similar feathers for the Blackhawks. And as I predicted, I got this email this morning saying that my campaign was flagged for trademark infringement. Now what I believe what's going on here is because there's so much attention and heat on around Teespring getting sued from uh, the Buckeyes University or the Iowa, Ohio University that they're not taking any chances. I think anything at all that has anything to do with any sports team at all on a, on a shirt, they'll just automatically do this, which is fine. But this is kind of good information because um, I looked, I went into my stats here, my analytics for, for uh, my tea, my Teespring. Let me just bring it up here. So I went into analytics to look at that shirt that got cancelled. Because if you actually click on the link and go there, it uh, it won't show anything. It just says it's been flagged due to infringement stuff. And you can see my description there. And if I just uh, go into my analytics, it had two orders. So that's a good sign. No other shirt had two orders except that just that one order there from the Canadians. Uh, shirt. This one wasn't an infringement either. And you know what? That other Boston one I did, I did 20 
uh, 24 sales on it didn't get um, pulled either so I think it's just because of those feathers and to be smart if I was smart I should just cancel this one there's no point in um, getting that shut down as well but I think the rest of them should be fine the only thing I was worried about was the H in this one here but it doesn't really look like the just one more before I die shirts are catching on with uh, NHL and you know what it's it's probably been tested already um, I just wanted to do this as a full big example right I keep saying that but that's why I'm not uh, too worried about it not getting that many sales because I just want to sh more importantly show you the setup of things and how to deal with it but you're definitely going to have a, a campaign that gets shut down eventually it always happens to all of us but what's interesting though I was looking into it and I can see this is where that those variables are that we put in we actually got a sale from the comment that we put in the um, Blackhawks post. Let me just take you to this one here. So someone clicked on this link right here and purchased. And as you can see, look at the comments. I know I wanted this shirt, that shirt. I really like this layout for some reason. So there's some good activity there. Um, the one up here didn't get any comments. So what that tells me, this is a good design. People like the way that it looks. I think the only thing in violation is simply those feathers. So remember, um, I don't know, in a different video, I showed you that I've already created a version of this with different feathers. So what if I was what I should do based on what we've seen so far, the research, is that what I can do is go dig into the the campaign that was sending traffic here and see if those sales were tracked in Facebook. So I can narrow down where the sales came from, and then redesign this shirt change this feathers and relaunch it and just do it again on this page so that's what I would do for that particular campaign I want to see in addition this one here I might as well scale it up just get some more traffic to it and see see how it goes remember this one we didn't we weren't able to like um, pinpoint using the behaviors so there's still a lot of room of improvement for this particular shirt so that's one that could be work worked with as well Let's go ahead and take a look at the shirts. If there's any comments and things like that and anything we could do. So let's take a look at uh, Boston Bruins. That would be nice. Blue and gold. I guess they don't like Boston Bruins. <laughs> Okay, we already looked at this one here. Let's take a look at the New York one. Refresh. See if we can find anything. Well, it looks like we've got some comments on that one. And remember, there's hardly any traffic that's gone to any of these. Like this, um, I'll show you in a minute how much traffic went through using our Bitly. Let's see if we got some action here. Nothing there. Oh, three comments on this one. So this one has been getting traction. Someone posted in here. I hate it when people do that. Advertise in my thread. Let's go see what they're white and red till I'm cold and dead. So they're, they're doing the same idea, but using the Sons of Anarchy. I usually just come in here and just remove that, <clears throat> so you don't. Uh, you can also like, ban that person so they don't um, come back and post again in this thread. You just copied what Red Wings did. Uh, I can hide that one as well. Let's take a look at the Kings. See what they got to say. Any action here? We've got. You can see the reach. Okay. one comment but one like as well 20 likes so let's go take a look at the traffic by bringing into bitly here these are all the 10 shirts so if I go and refresh here so you can see the maximum traffic was actually uh, the Montreal Canadiens bleed shirt and then the Blackhawks this is the one that got shut down so out of all of them the best shirt was the Blackhawks one so Ideally, my next move here would be I'd concentrate on that shirt <clears throat> and also the Canadian shirt. 
and all the rest of them probably just I didn't get any traffic there's not really that much traffic to make any decisions to be honest <laughs> we didn't get much traffic to it at all we can go take a look how much we spent you know 50 bucks almost about 60 bucks on each of them so let's go ahead and take a look at let's say they bleed see what kind of post engagements we're getting. So the Canadians are getting a lot more post engagements <clears throat> than any other team. So like I said, and it's only 10 cents per engagement. It's because they're getting a better reach. And they're getting a better reach simply because they're more interested. So that's, I would concentrate on the Canadians and then concentrate on the Blackhawks, but they had a lower, a pretty good post engagement here. So let's go and look at ads so if we click on ads here you can see the stats for the individual ads and this is where we can dig into like the it's almost all five percent there this one is two percent on the Rangers so Rangers wasn't really very interested I guess in their shirt so you can easily see which ones work in here so let's go and view report here and this is where we can dig in and see where those sales came from. So I'm going to click edit columns and go click on conversions and then add and add set. Now we can see which ad or ad set which contains only one ad every ad set did all the sales and we can see the web conversions here you can actually drag these columns. I like dragging that column over just so it's closer to over here. So this one got the so it's telling us right there so the bleed in the, these ones is what got the uh, the sales. <clears throat> we already know that. <laughs> and so what we want to do is we can actually dig into those campaigns and let's see where it came from. So let's go demographic and then we'll click on Add, ad set. It doesn't really matter. Let's click on add because add each ad set contains one ad. So if you select one or the other, it doesn't really matter. Click on actions and we'll go down to external URL and click on checkouts. Click save. I want to see uh, females or male who is an age group of what's buying. So I'm going to bring those checkout column over here. So I can see it. I hate it how it goes and sticks it at the end. Okay, now I'm gonna sort by checkouts. The three sales: two sales were females, one sale was male. And what were the designs? I need to see. It's showing all the bleed ones because that's the campaign we're in. <laughs> <clears throat> so I just want to see okay so the first one is a Blackhawks so look at that so for the Blackhawks it, it was females that purchased those two so if I would go and relaunch that campaign I would target females from 18 to 34 and um, yeah so and use the same interests and whatnot that we did on that ad and uh, ramp that one up to like 100 bucks a day or something like that it probably would work out because if we go and look at the amount of money we spent on that single campaign which is the Blackhawks ad we spent eleven dollars we got two sales so that's like two hundred percent return on investment or no hundred percent I guess so we made twenty bucks profit about well, I guess like eighteen bucks I think it was only nine dollars so eighteen dollars profit and spent twelve dollars so we're we're in profit on that on that actual one there. If we look at the Canadians, we spent twelve dollars, we made nine dollars, so it's not quite even yet, but pretty close. This could be dialed in possibly and 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 uh, increase to make some money. So that would be the next steps that I would take. But of course, the very first thing I should do is pause the the uh, the, the campaign one that just ended. So what I usually do is I pause that 
And then I will go to my page, the Blackhawks page, and remove that post. That's just so they don't uh, bring any attention to my page on, on this particular thing. But I know that this actual design people will like. So what I'll do is I'll just come here and remove this. Actually, I'll just hide it. I'll just hide it from the page for now. <clears throat> because I don't want the um, the data. I don't want the data in my uh, reports to go away. I don't know if, if deleting it gets rid of the data. I still want that just in case I want to run that shirt again so so basically that's the whole purpose of this uh, little case study thing was just to show you the procedure of going through a lot of different shirts and how to set it up and then taking the next step I'm most likely could just could, just gonna shut all these down and probably not um, sell them but uh, that would be the, my next goal here would be go in I'd probably go in right now and possibly increase some of the like look at the activity a little closer and make sure give a second chance to some that were that were sort of doing well let's let's actually take a look at the other campaign before I stop this video the one more because it didn't get any sales at all and let's just see ads kind of conversion so these are all four three percent here was the Canadians. so the Canadians didn't care about that one click-through rate post engagements are all similar the costs are all similar as well but it didn't look like there was much interest among well not bad I guess like not that expensive twelve to thirteen dollars across the board just no sales on those. We can take a look at the traffic again for the those are the one more. So all the one more is right here. You can see uh, 10, 5, Boston Bruins, the LA Kings, Montreal Canadiens. So the Kings got the most traffic. They didn't show much interest in that shirt. I'm I'm probably thinking because these shirts were sold like crazy a while ago in NFL. Maybe they already own one for NFL or something like that, and it seems more <clears throat> it seems more applicable to the NFL than it does NHL, because traditionally NHL teams would win the cups more often than NFL teams would. So it makes you know it makes more sense for an NFL sort of um, niche, and I kind of knew that before I designed these shirts. So I just wanted to make this as an example for the course. So, but yeah, at this point, I probably wouldn't even sell any of these shirts. I don't know. I didn't get one sale. There's not much interest. Not much comments going on. Maybe um, the Canadians one. I was thinking it could have been redesigned a little bit. If you actually look at the Canadians shirt here, um, one thing I wanted to do is take the band and put it underneath. That could be one thing, but it's pretty distinctive that you see the H there. That you know, if they don't like it, they're not going to buy it. But they do like this one, so this one can definitely be pushed a little bit and um, possibly be a successful campaign if you really push out the traffic to it. Because <clears throat> really, we've only pushed like hardly anything to these campaigns. If you look at it, you know, you're looking at you know 2,000 reach there, a thousand. Like you need to have like. 5,000 to 10,000 to really get traction on it and you need lots of clicks like if you look at our stats we only got 10 18 clicks the most like refresh here see if we got any more yeah not much more so there's definitely some potential in this design set and um, the actions to take would be move with the ones that were selling and the one that got cancelled I would redesign it re up, upload it with different feathers and so let me show you quickly my design that I did have for Blackhawks so this was the design here so if I just zoom out what I'd want to do is get rid of those feathers and like I said I I had a couple I had one like that <clears throat> There's also this one here. You know, you kind of get the point. You know that the feathers are going to be Blackhawks, and like those aren't the real feathers. So, right now, the only distinction to the team would be the the 
the straps or whatever they call these, the colors. But I don't think that's infringing. It was. I'm definitely gonna guess it's the it's the feather. So something like that would probably be a good redesign. It may not sell as good. It may. I don't know. It'd be something to test, but or find better better feathers <laughs> would be an an idea. I just found them on. Um, This was on Deviant Art, and Deviant Art, from what I understand, you can use that stuff for your shirts. I'm not positive; you'd have to check in on it, but that's where I found this one. It was just through Google Images, and then I just took these and um, just uh, took out the white, black, white background using the select, like I showed in the other videos. <clears throat> and then um, just took each feather and just stuck them in here. It was really simple, and all these, all these bars. Are, are just basically um, rectangles like this. That's all they are. <laughs> and then the blood, I just found the blood image. It's just an image like this. I just found this little image on Google Images and stuck it in here. All Using all the scales that I showed you in um previous module. So I'd probably go and change this and then re and then resell it. I, I'd want to change the feather so it fits a little bit better. You see there's a big gap here. I definitely wouldn't have a gap there. So that's what I would do <clears throat> continuing with this um, big ad set. Okay, that's it for this video.